Well, welcome back to KSAN News. Beautiful skies out there, hot weather, but we also will see a heat advisory going in tomorrow. I'll talk more about that in just a couple of minutes, but hot weather tips and how to beat the heat will eventually get cooler going on to overnight, but overall seeing dry weather in the forecast. And today, with your ice cream forecast, well, we reached the low 100s. Some decent melting for us, that level there. Definitely want to grab a cold treat today and the to upcoming days as well, where we continue to see temperatures in the triple digits. Looking across the nation, a good bit of moisture everywhere, especially portions of Tennessee and Kentucky, seeing some storms and showers, Louisiana into um, portions of the Gulf Coast, picking on that action as well. And then we still have the monsoon effects here for the Big Bend region into portions of New Mexico and into Colorado, seeing a streamline. This is what this cold front is, some active storms and showers through Iowa and portions of Minnesota as well. We won't be seeing that action, all of it staying well out of our region. In the Midland area, getting some showers and storms, and we need that rain as well, but it's just not coming in our forecast. What we will be seeing is hot weather. And if you look across in Lone Star State. Well, there's a cooler weather where there's showers and storms are in Marfa, but everywhere else is in the hundreds or upper 90s. And 106 in Laredo, that's insanely hot for them down there in portions of the lower part of Texas. And where we're sitting right now, most of us joining them, especially Sterling City, 107 right now at this hour. Looking at the southern half, seeing more of the upper 90s across the area, seeing 100s, 101 in Ballinger. We're at 100 degrees. We will be joining the 101 mark going into the next couple minutes. Fairly than that. Heat advisory, though, kicks in tomorrow, starting at 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., and with that, heat may cause heat illnesses, and just to touch on that aspect, if you have any of these symptoms, especially a heat stroke, call 911. Red, hot, dry skin is one of those factors you can have going into more heat exhaustion, which is more of the more common one. It's we'll start with muscle cramps, faint or dizziness. You can also take some time probably drink some water. You should be able to recover, but if not, you can always go to the hospital if you need to as well. How to beat the heat? Well, if you wear light color clothing, that'll help with the sun reflect those rays instead of the darker colors. Drinking plenty of water will help as well. And or you could just stay inside. That's the best way you can do to prevent you getting those heat illnesses. But if you happen to go outside and you just need something to do far as cool ways to beat the heat, well, let's go swimming. Take a dip in your nearby pool. That's a quick way, but you can also join, like, grab that ice cream. That's a nice way for the kiddos and you and the family. And pool. Well, water toys are very excellent. May a uh, second choice out cost that much and they're really cheap so you can get some of those and have fun with it but this evening things will eventually get cooler after we get past 9 p.m. dropping into the low 90s overall but we're seeing heat filtering into the forecast over the next five days next week we'll see plenty of sunshine mostly sunny conditions temperatures in the triple digits staying there rain chances below 10 percent most of the days so we won't be seeing that wet weather anytime soon again Remember those heat safety tips and look out for heat illnesses throughout the week. We'll be back right after this.